Shalom. Let's tell praise to to Yahweh. Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is a uh, lesson that I saw. I saw a video on uh, on the group chat. You know what's going on in uh, in France. I believe this is in Paris. You know, there's all hell breaking loose in uh, France. You know, because uh, because they want to change like the age of retirement. I believe uh, the age of retirement over there, I believe, is 65. So they want to change it to uh, basically it's indefinite. You know, so um, with this whole new world order, I think uh, what's the guy's name? Carl Schwab. Um, his uh, one of his sayings is that you will. It, um, that one of his sayings, he said that um, he said that you will own nothing and be happy. Right. So this is what they what they plan. You know. So there's gonna be a lot more interaction, more riots, more fighting, a lot of things that's gonna happen. You know, during this uh, this year. You know, and uh, we know that the um, the election coming up for 2024. You know, and we believe. Um, yeah, I believe there's gonna be a hell breaking because you know I believe Joe, Joe Biden, President Joe Biden, he's he, he he's looking frail, weak. Joe or um, Trump, Donald Trump, President Donald Trump former president he has more supporters who's backing him and um you know so there's gonna be a lot a lot of interaction more chaos you know i'm gonna just play this this is gonna be a short lesson lord will um unless the spirit permits so i'm gonna play this this is for uh, educational purposes let's go Yeah, so we see that this is real. What's going on in Europe? Um, watch if you ha have watched that movie, The Children of Men. It's a very good movie. Um, one second. Watch if you watch that movie, The Children of Men. A very uh good movie. You know, and that was good. And I like, basically like like there was all hell breaking loose. There was martial law. You know, interaction. You know, that's a very good uh, film to watch. The Children of Men. That's one of my favorite uh, end time movies. Um, you know, so we got to uh, brace ourselves. You know, we're going to have to rely on faith, right? Because no, no type of money, no, uh, you might be, uh, you might stockpile on food. You know, prep. You might, you know, you might be a prepper, but there's gonna be a hell breaking loose, man. So uh, we're gonna be as pilgrims, you know, the elect. You know, some of our people are gonna get caught up. Some some of the elects gonna get caught up into these uh, concentration camps, these internment camps. You know, so there's gonna be a hell breaking loose. Uh, Second Ezra 15 and one. Behold, speak down the ears of my people the the words of prophecy, which I will put. In thy mouth, said the Lord. Right. So this was the angel who was speaking to the prophet Ezra. Right. And uh, basically, uh, you know, everything that he wrote down is happening right now. Right. So the 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 the, the it said the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So 
whoever those prophets were, Ezra's, uh, Obadiah, you know, um, Jer Jeremiah, you know, all these great prophets, Paul, you know, um, Peter, you know, all these great prophets, you know, every, the spirit of the prophets are subject to prophets, right? And cause them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true, right? So, uh, we know that, you know, King James, um, the fourth of, uh, of, uh, of England and Ireland and Scotland, you know, he, uh, you know, like he commissioned, uh, the scribes, you know, uh, like to write down like the Biblios, right? The comp like a composition of books, you know, because, uh, because they were only basically, um, you know, all these, uh, like the Torah, the Tanakh, and the New Testament, they are written in Greek and Hebrew, Aramaic, you know, Arabic, all right? So, um, you know, so it shows you that, uh, you know, the scribes, you know, because you read about uh, first, if you read, uh, you know, um, University of Cambridge, University of Oxford, all these were set up by Jakes, you know, throughout Europe. You know, and it's caused them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. All right. Fear not the it, fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee. So the unbelief. You know these people. You know like they don't know what's what's gonna happen, man. Because uh, within the next couple of months, you know there's. You know, like there's gonna be probably martial law. Like we don't know what's gonna be happening, but um, you know, people feel that yeah, now the weather's change changing. That oh, everything's going back to normal. You know, like you better be uh, you know, like you know, like what, like what, like what, basically, basically, what what you have like basically like what we have to do. We have to brace ourselves. You know, uh, stay rooted. You know, because uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be our stability of our time. So that's the only thing that's going to balance because there's going to be so much destruction happening and chaos. So we have to rely on the scriptures, man. Behold, Chef the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Right? So all these plagues, you know, this is the Heavenly Father who's bringing it. Right, this whole vaccination, this whole, uh, the whole uh, COVID shots and all that, you know, all these different destruction, these wildfires, a lot of floods, you know, I believe uh, Miami got flooded, you know, certain parts of Miami got flooded out, you know, famine, death and destruction, man. And we know that there's going to be more wildfires, more destruction, more tornadoes, right? And like these are all orchestrated by the Heavenly Father. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, and that's what it is because you have men who want to be uh, women, women who want to be men. You know all these, you know these changing of kinds. You know, that's why the Heavenly Father has to intervene, man, because the, um, if it wasn't for the elect's sake, you know, like no flesh is going to be saved because, you know, because they want to pollute everybody, you know, with this whole, uh, you know, like this whole way of life, you know, are the food, the food polluted, the people is polluted. I will bring, I will, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them with those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Right? So we're so we're complaining continually, just like uh, you know, Abraham nephew Lot was. He was complaining continually. We're in that same stead, man. We're always complaining, man. You know, because um, there's so much evil. You know, you go on social media, you go outside your, uh, 
you know, like your house, you know, you see all kind of weird shit stuff out here. You know, that's why, you know, the Heavenly Father has to, he has to deliver us, man. We, that we pray for the Heavenly Father to deliver us. That, uh, you know, myself, that I be kind of worthy. All right, because uh, so that many are called, but the chosen are few. So we want to be uh, be called and chosen, right? Because uh, things is getting real, man. And therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold, surely avenge them and receive unto, unto me all the innocent blood from among them. All right, because a lot of our, like, because the innocent blood is gonna be the elect, you know. Uh, even the two thirds, right? But ultimately, it's all that like, innocent blood is going to be the elect, the those who's crying out unto him, right? And some of some of the elect is going to be martyrs, right? You know, like, like I'm, I'm basically like the elect is going to be risen up first, all right? Um, like when it, like even if they if they if they die, you know, and like the heavenly Father is going to bring them back, you know, like out of their grave. That, that spiritual realm you know and they're gonna be on the ships behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter i will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of egypt all right so that's why the heavenly father is gonna have to come man because it's gonna get that bad you have the united nations these un troops that's already here these uh, uh, uh like all these um uh, like all these militia groups you know, on the land, you know, and they're gonna come against Jake. So there's gonna be a, a, a race a race war, man. You know? So it's gonna get real, man. I will I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretched out arm and smite Egypt with the plagues as before, and I will destroy all the land drill. We see what happens, you know, that what's going on right now, man. You know, there's been a lot of like a lot of uh like some of the rivers have been turned to blood you know throughout the world you know and um there's been a whole bunch of destruction i believe in um in mecca like there was a whole bunch of uh um you know wild wild like wild creatures that like wild insects it, it like wild insects you know that was you know over there you know, there's going to be a, a lot, like a lot of destruction, man. A lot of just sudden deaths that the Heavenly Father is going to bring, you know. Because, like, uh, that's going to be the same destruction what the Heavenly Father, like what Yahweh Shai did, you know, unto the firstborn in Egypt, man. The Lord's going to bring a lot, a lot, a lot of destruction, man. So we got to brace ourselves. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten. With the plagues and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon them, they that till the ground shall mourn, for their meat seeds shall fail through the blasting and hail and the with a fearful consolation. Right, and that's what's gonna happen. Right, so we don't know what the spring and the summer is gonna when it's gonna happen because because I, I like a lot of because you have these uh, you know like Bill Gates. You know, like they're buying all the land, all the farmland, right? And they're, uh, and basically, uh, like let's say you're, like you have a little, uh, a little farm or whatever, and you're, you like you have cattle, you have land, you have agriculture, and you're doing your thing, like they're, like they're basically, uh, like basically, that basically. That basically all the crops everything is being destroyed right and it's either uh because because it's, it's all it's, it's like it's, it's just the government who's basically orchestrating this shit all right and basically like they're um basically paying out like the farmers or whatever and they're taking their land so it's like basically uh you know like it's a total control man so at least you have, you know, if you go to these different islands or different lands, especially like Jamaica, there's a whole bunch of uh, land and uh, plants and farm, you know. But here, like, you, you know, like you, 
it's like it's like you're dependent on this damn uh, Edomite government. You know, it's like for your uh, farm, your crops, and all that, man. So that's why you know the heavenly father has gonna come. Man. He's gonna come and bring destruction, man. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for their sword and their destruction shall draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fire against another, and swords in their hand. That's gonna happen. It's gonna be a uh, you know interaction, man. All right. There's gonna be uh, racial tension, you know, and the modern day swords is the gun, you know. Um, the web, you know, you, you know your 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 machete, whatever, you know, <laughs> you know, you know that whatever a person has, you know, that, uh, basically it's gonna be uh, every man for himself in that day, man. It's gonna be like the book of Eli, or I am legend, man. For the sedition, for it says, for there shall be sedition among men and invasion one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the court of their action shall stand in their power that's why um you know anywhere these world leaders are these prime ministers you know like lot like a lot of them are going to be underground man you know or they like or like or like maybe like they might get, get like or maybe like you know like some of them going to get caught off guard man you know because uh you, you know because you have people who are losing it man you have people who's homeless you know throughout canada and america you know yeah uh, uh, uh to the price of homes you know um of uh you know like to even buy a property is is how high you know as like a mortgage is just is it basically it's like a death pledge you know so like you have all these uh and you know like who's running everything the small hats all right the zionists you know like these are the ones who uh you know like if, if you read the, the like if you read that book like the learn uh, it's called the protocols of uh, the learn the, of the learned elders of zion you know like these are the damn scums who's ruling the earth man and they run the banks they run everything man the weapons, farm, farms, like, you know, like they run everything. The tax, anytime you're buying something, whatever, it comes from uh, the small hat tax. All right. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, very powerful. Second Ezra 15. Uh, also, Second Ezra 16, man. Like, these are the times that we're, we're living in, they are the future. You know, so uh with that let us all praise the duty how about how was shy by shimmer kakwadash the honors to the apostles of great millstone peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect shalom